understand that to improvise effectively over anything, you have to know the part that you're playing over, and you have to try to connect with it. This bass line, that's all it is. Just a bass line. All the information I need is in that bass line, but I better be able to groove on it. Like, I better feel that in my heart before I'm gonna try to improvise over it. So once I feel it in my heart, what do I do next? Think about the harmonic implications. Remember I was talking about last time, every note is a tonic. No scales, no gods. Here it is, every note is a tonic. There's the root. That's one key, right? We're gonna go to another key though. Break it down to the barest thing, the smallest, fractal of reality and then build off that. So the smallest fractal of reality in this, not even that second note, right here. Hear those. That's why you gotta learn that bass line, it's all connected. Like say there's a melody, maybe I'll think of a melody in this video of it, but right now there's no melody. So the only material I gotta keep going back to is that bass line. Never go too far away from it. That's all it is. It's not about how many chops or not how many chops. It's not, it's, it's literally about how you connect to the groove. So know the groove. And that's really how you practice, all right? Hope that makes some sense to you guys. You better subscribe if you take my methods and use them, all right? But practice, it's supposed to be fun. Just think critically about it and stay close to the groove. <laughs>